happens overnight, all starting at 5 a.m. Governor Jane Nixon is employing Missouri residents to lobby their lawmakers in a final push to expand Medicaid coverage for low-income adults. Nixon today headlined an hour-long Capitol Rotunda rally that his administration says drew more than a thousand people. Many were working people who have jobs, but not jobs where health benefits are provided. Nixon says they live in a world just one health problem away from destitution. A world where it's easier for a worker to get health care by quitting a job than by taking one. Folks, oh, that is flat wrong, okay? One pressure point in the debate is a concern that Medicaid expansion is intended to replace government payments to small rural hospitals. But the Obama administration has decided to delay the hospital reductions for a year. In my view, they should not feel comforted. Uh, this system needs to be fixed, and uh, the time is now. Uh, the people of Missouri need it. Uh, the patients of Missouri need it. Republican legislative leaders have so far refu refused to expand Medicaid, citing the potential long-term costs to the state. The Missouri Senate today approved legislation barring the Revenue Department from scanning personal documents shown by people applying for driver's licenses. The bill came within hours of Governor Nixon's decision to direct the agency to stop making electronic copies of concealed weapons permits. The Department of Revenue will, uh, will do a thorough review and see what other documents should and shouldn't be kept. But there are a lot of important issues to be looked at here, but uh, you have to balance privacy and security. The Senate measure would require county sheriffs to issue the concealed weapons licenses instead of the Revenue Department. Jefferson City Senator Mike Kehoe's one-cent sales tax for